Hi guys, I wanted to go ahead and teach you how we're gonna use Echo this semester for my art class. Um, every teacher uses it slightly different, but I think this is gonna help you out a lot. First thing I wanna encourage you to do is instead of using the app, I think the web-based um, version of it is a little bit better. There's some small hiccups on the app that tend to happen. So use the web-based version if you can save that link. Sign in, of course, as yourself, and you'll see all your classes there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on one of my classes. I'm in a student view right now. I have a fake student account logged in so I can see what things look like. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just click on the class. So this top section is called the landing page, and that's just where you see my little uh, character pointing to my email address. You can always find my email there if you need it. Um, down below that gray line, you'll find a really small uh, area that has a date inside of a rectangle with a calendar icon. That's where you can navigate what day you're looking at for your virtual learning. So I'm going to go ahead and go to tomorrow and that will show you um, the stuff I've prepared for you to do today. So here is the beginning of the agenda. I go ahead and put a big obvious sign that you're in the agenda so you don't get turned around. And the first thing I'll always have is the week's objective. We're pretty much gonna have one learning goal for the whole week, each week, just to keep things simple for you. So this week, our goal is to get ready for an awesome semester of art class. And we can do that a couple ways. We can do that by just getting to know each other and learning how Echo works, um, emailing me if you have any needs as far as art materials go. So these are all different activities that I want you to look at. Maybe it's a video, maybe it's a matter of getting up and moving around your house and looking for art materials or taking um, a little list um, and going through it, figuring out what you need. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need to do though is to uh, do an assignment and that's gonna be typical after learning some stuff on Echo, um, you would then need to show that you can do those things or at least that you would have attempted that. So let's say you were watching an art tutorial on how to do some particular shading technique and then you finished your assignment. You would then want to show me your assignment that, of what you drew. Um, so there's always going to be a component where you learn and then there's going to be a component where you turn something in. Everything will always be due by Friday at 2.30 because I have to give you um, virtual attendance points. Otherwise, it looks like you didn't participate in school for the week. So make sure that you turn things in on Friday. If you're ever late turning something in, I'll still accept it within the quarter, but um, for attendance purposes, it's definitely best to turn things in the week that they're due. All right, so back to what we're doing right now. Um, we're looking at this number four. This is an example of an assignment. Now this week, since we're just getting to know each other, I thought maybe you could show me how to add a photo of yourself and how you can like, Tell me a few things about yourself and that'll give you a chance to type in some comments. I just want to know that you can do those functions plus I just want to get to know you. So I'm going to click the assignment link. It's already in the agenda. I do this on purpose because if you go down below and start looking at all these hyperlinks, it can get real confusing even if you use the to-do list. So my advice to you for the entire semester is stick with the agenda. What's on the agenda that you need to do um, for that week? All right, so anyway, I'm gonna click the blue link that says get to know me assignment. And here I have not only the directions for the get to know me assignment, but I also have an example. Sometimes I'll have an example in there for you. And basically after going through this and you knew what was expected of you, you know that you need to submit a photo and then th type three things about yourself. You see the example, it's pretty straightforward. The next step is to go ahead and do that. So what you would do, and my um, advice for you, because there's several ways to get it done, is to um, hit the plus sign that's at the very bottom in a circle. I noticed that our iPads sort of glitch like that when we do that, so that's normal. I don't know why it does that. But anyway, you can click that little tiny plus sign circle just above the word submit my work. And from there, you can attach a file. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a file from... I don't honestly even know what's in my library. Probably pictures my daughter has taken. Silly stuff. Oh, I got nothing. All right, sorry. My album's pretty clean. Let me try doing a photo like right now. I'm at my house. Oop, there's a chair. Oh, there I am. Okay, so I'll take a quick photo. And I'm going to use the photo. I'm going to hit 
to upload. And there it goes. It's attached as a paper clip. Next thing I need to do is click on the gray, add your comment plus sign right in the middle. And as soon as you click that, all of these things pop up. You can add photos directly into it that way. Um, you can also type in your comments, like here's my three things about myself. And then of course, I'm gonna submit that work when I'm done. When you go to submit it and you scroll up, it's again, it can be a little weird and glitchy, but go ahead and scroll up and hit submit my work. Now I try to make it where you can attach multiple things um, because I know sometimes y'all wanna send me a few different things and that's fine. Um, once you've submitted, there's a few ways to know you've submitted. One, you can see the button is now saying resubmit my work. You can also see at the top, it gives you a status under the giant word submission. It says due Friday at 2.30 p.m. Status completed, comma submitted. So we did a good job, we got that in. So really the last thing that I want to make sure you know how to do is how to kind of check out your feedback. So I'm hopping on my teacher computer now and I'm gonna give myself some fake feedback. Nice photo but your comments made no sense. Try again. All right, so I'm giving myself some points, but not all the points, and I'm gonna click allow retry. All right, so now, why I did that is because I wanna show you from the student view what that looks like. All right, so you turn your artwork in, or whatever it is that you're doing that week, and oh my goodness, since there's only one assignment, I now have an F, because I only got half the points. So. One way you can check your grade is when you're in your class or even when you're on your home page, you can click the red or it should be green if you have a good grade, but it's up in the upper right hand corner and it's your overall grade. There's also details in there. So I'm gonna click on that. It looks like a little bar graph by the eyeball. All right, and now you can see not only what the overall grade is at the very top where it says score, but you can see the assignments listed underneath at the bottom. They even tell you what category they're graded on. Now, the iPads only show you so much width, so I would encourage you to learn to navigate this thing. You're gonna have to slide to the right to see things like, okay, I got a 50%, I got five out of 10, so she gave me some points. Now what happened? And I scroll all the way to the right. I can see that I have a green check mark, which means I turned it in. I have a return arrow. The teacher has returned it back to me to do something to it. And this is the kicker. I want you to always check this because I'm giving you comments. If I turn something back to you, I'm gonna tell you why. So what I need to do is check it because there's a little bubble there, a little comments bubble. So when I clicked it or clicked the assignment, now I can go to the bottom and it says feedback. Nice photo, but your comments made no, oops. Okay, I didn't spell it right, sorry guys, no sense. Try again. So you would then go back to the assignment, just exit out of there. Oops, let's see if I can scoot over. Here we go. Click on the assignment again. Well, you could do it from there, I suppose. And basically just go back in, change your words, make sure everything looks good. And all right, whatever. So you submit it again. Resubmit my work. Okay, so guys, that's really everything. I'm gonna back all the way out, hitting the back button. I'm gonna go to the home screen. Remember that your overall grade is gonna end up, um, I'm gonna go ahead and change the overall grade, is gonna end up here. So maybe if I refresh it, my overall grade will come in. All right, and it's not coming in yet. I think that's just because it takes more time. I think it has to sync up or something. Anyway, guys, so your overall grade would typically show there and um, you'd be able to see everything. If you ever have questions and if all else fails, just email me. You can always take a screenshot. You all are really good at that and show me what you're seeing and what's going wrong and we'll troubleshoot. Even during the school day, I can often break away and help people at home. So make sure you do that assignment and make sure you know how to add a photo as well as type comments. I need to see that you can do that by the end of the week. That's what you're doing for a grade. And that is also how we're doing virtual attendance this week so that I know you are participating. Anyway, good luck guys. Let me know what issues you have and I'll